It's so lovely to on see a you magnificent again. Saturday, on a magnificent Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening where you might be. Yes, Lord. It's the teddy bear and welcome to Night Tracks Radio. And today's artist spot, my gifted singer, songwriter, Lord have mercy and captivating Hill Street Soul with her new hit single slash video party on from her fantastic new album, of course, Back in Love. So on behalf of the teddy bear and Night Tracks, it's my pleasure to welcome Hill Street So, my queen, how are you doing this evening? I'm good, thank you. I'm fine. I'm very good. I can't complain. Um, just <laughs> happy to be here again. Thank you so much for asking me to, you know, to sit and chat with you again. So, uh, yeah, I'm really pleased to be here. No, the pleasure is truly ours. But you know what? I have a little. I have a little bone to pick with you, young lady. I oh, must you do? <laughs> yes, I do. That's yes, I do. Okay. I do. I right. want to know when are you coming to the states to oh, perform? Wow. It's you been a what? long time. It has, hasn't it? I'm actually um, hoping. I was hoping to come this year, actually, um, but unfortunately, just the dates didn't just didn't work out. So uh, we'll be looking to try and get some dates together uh, for 2024. Hopefully, the early part of 2024. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, um, logistics and all that kind of thing permitting, I definitely will definitely get myself over there if it means even if it means i have to like i don't know hide in someone's suitcase and you know <laughs> I'll find my way there. i will definitely find my way out there <laughs> i hope so it's been a long time a long time coming i mean the new album you have done a fantastic job the reviews have been outstanding but i wanted to ask you especially coming from an artist that is very the word I'm looking for, very demanding and, ex and expectations on you that you yeah. put on yourself are very high. So how do you think you did as far as the overall album and overall concept of the album Back in Love? Oh, uh, I think, I'm. you know what, looking at the body of work, I'm really, really pleased with how things turned out. Um, initially, I was a little bit, yeah, apprehensive because obviously it was like 10 years from my last release to this release so you just really don't know because a lot has changed you know the climate's changed in terms of music so I really kind of didn't know where I would fit um but ultimately I just really followed my my gut and my heart and just kind of went with that and to be honest with you when I'm sort of being creative that is always my first approach is just to do something that feels good to me and hopefully it will you know translate um onto the listeners and stuff so uh, I'm glad I took that stance and, you know, um, really pleased with the outcome. And obviously, yeah, the response uh, was overwhelming, not what I was particularly expecting, but um, I was very, very happy in terms of, you know, how it had been received and stuff. So, um, yeah. It's, it's interesting that you say this because I remember the last time that I had the pleasure of speaking with you, you said one of the things that really stuck to me, you said when you're gone for a certain amount of time there's always that apprehensive apprehend being apprehensive as far as what do the listeners or the people or the supporters that love your music music what are their expectations that they have put on you on as far as yeah. your music is concerned and you came back full throttle and i gotta ask you <laughs> who was working with you as far as the on the production concept of the album as far as working with a producer who really understands what you were look understood what you were looking for well funny enough um i had sort of prior to doing the album i was working with um reggie myricks just um on his projects funny enough we were just like putting out songs and the first song that we did together um which was sort of like at the beginning of um the pandemic was one life and then that just kind of took a life of its own um <laughs> and yes yeah, so i was like okay this is great um and then we sort of um started working on other tracks i was you know i've always i'm always sort of trying to stay creative um and that's when uh the label shanaki kind of approached me and said oh you know we we would love to do something with you know with the single one life um so it kind of like turned out whereby I kind of really just worked with two producers, which was Reggie Myricks and then uh, Lorenzo Johnson, who I got introduced to via the label um, because they wanted me to um, 
just work on some some other stuff. In fact, it was to do. I think it was to do the cover of. Um, initially, it was the cover of uh, the Ohio Players, um, which I ended up doing. You know, the label like, oh well, you know, oh, why don't you try doing that? And I was a bit like, mm, I'm always a bit apprehensive when it comes to covers, just because. Right. Sometimes you know you don't want to, you don't want to mess up the original you know and you there's always going to be that comparison uh, but I think when I do go into um, doing covers I always just try and put my my stamp on it and it always seems to work um, so off the back of that um, you know the label like okay we need further singles and then I you know got introduced to Lorenzo Johnson and then we worked on um, a bunch of songs and then blessed ended up being I think the follow up single single so. The album ultimately, yeah, was like Reggie Myricks and um, and Lorenzo, and then one track from um, Prince Damons, who's a producer for Dwelle. So we did the Heaven Must Be Like This um, with his with him and his team. So um, yeah, it was just kind of like um, fate, I guess. I, you know, it could be fate or it was um, you know just um, <laughs> the timing. But I I feel like um, working with both um, both those guys. Ha, you know, has been a blessing. It's really, uh, I feel like it has brought out a different side of hill of hills in terms of my creative creativeness or creative process. And um, yeah, and I think you know, it definitely has reflected in my work, uh, in the body of work that I've um, I've presented. So I, f I feel like, um, yeah, I definitely got you know hooked up with the right with the right producers. You've always had such a very fun loving, very charismatic personality but one of the essential qualities that i've always admired and loved about you is that the level of transparency and emotion that you bring in your music oh. one particular song that i love truly love on the album back in love is fingerprints oh, the, the vocals and the, the entitled and the, the 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 melody of the song is incredible and i want okay. to find out when you when you do write your songs do they come from a from your from as far as personal experience things that you've experienced in your life that you managed to incorporate in your music absolutely i mean with fingerprints i just have to put it out there that i actually didn't write that song it was um a song that I, in fact, it was the last song on the album and it was written by Lorenzo and um, a songwriter, I've forgotten her name now, gosh, I hope she forgives me. Um, but <laughs> um, So he presented that song to me and instantly um, I kind of could relate to it because I definitely lived that whole kind of, you know, the whole kind of like message in that song. I've been there, done it, I've got the t-shirt. So it was a song that I, I definitely um, resonated with me because obviously, yeah, I, I do feel like um, majority of us do go through that whole, you know, when you when you fall in love and what have you, there's always that one person that, um, that ultimately really leaves their mark, even if you're not together, but they kind of leave their mark on you. And I could certainly relate to that song. So, yeah. I think, as you said, all of us have been through that once, you know, more than twice, maybe more than yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're unlucky, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> do you still um, consider yeah. yourself, a, do you still consider yourself a hopeful romantic? I think, I think so. I think we all kind of, I mean, I'm really fussy though, do you know what I mean? But I think we, we, we all, we all like, hope and wish to find that, um, you know, that kind of, perfect kind of love i don't know if it exists but yeah i think it's something you know human nature we always strive strive for that um you know but i'm definitely i think i i, I always err on the cause you know like very cautious side of things um maybe because of my experience in the past i'm a little bit more kind of like um like to take my time and just yeah and just has to feel right and and be sure before i take the plunge as it were so um yeah <laughs> um, <laughs> one of those characters really. <laughs> I can definitely, I can definitely relate, relate as far as I find so funny, but so refreshing that when you do your live performances, it almost comes across as a sense of therapy for you when you perform. Yeah, it's like definitely. you lose yourself. Absolutely. And I do feel like, um, I, you know, like with my, with my live shows, I like to kind of feel like I'm having a conversation with my listeners really. Um, 
and yeah, and it's sort of telling the story because obviously I've been doing this for a hot minute. So um, a lot of the songs are, um, you know, based on um, either things I've experienced or people that I close to me that have experienced. So um, I do feel like it is a bit of a, a storytelling, but I always try and do it in a kind of fun and humorous way, um, you know, because obviously some of the subject matters are quite, you know, you know, when you've had your heart broken, it can be quite heavy. Um, but I always try and, um, yeah, do it in a humorous way, really, um, and, and a conversational way with my with my listeners. I feel like that's kind of part of my personality, even though I don't think I'm a comedian. But, you know, I like to kind of just have fun, you know? have fun. Make, make it a little bit light. I get it. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. Absolutely. I, I understand. Well, you kind of want your, you know, I don't know about anyone else, but I always like, um, you know, my listeners to leave that kind of um, space in a, you know, in a, in a kind of a feel uplifted, really. I think that's kind of when I go into like performing, that is my aim. You want to feel, I mean, I, when I go to concerts, I want to leave feeling good. I don't want to feel depressed or anything like that. So I kind of try and, yeah, sprinkle that kind of energy on, um, you know, in my, in my performances. Have you come to the realization how uplifting your music has become? You have, I don't like to use the term fans because it comes across as being very generic. I'll say supporters, family members wow. who have been with you since the beginning and are still here. And they are just in love with your music and they love your live performances. And at any time, does that come become a little bit too much of a burden to know again that they have, people have such high expectations of what you bring to the table no, musically? Not at all. I don't think, um, I mean, I try not to take it in that way. I think for me, that's it is quite, um, yeah, it's a, it's a huge compliment, um, especially like I said, because I took a long kind of break in between albums and to sort of, um, you know, come back and and realize people still appreciate what you do and 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 appreciate your your artistry i think that's um it's amazing because i can't i do count myself like one of the lucky ones because i know you know there are a lot of artists for whatever reason might have you know came out the same time as i had but you know um you know not do music anymore for whatever reason so for me i think yeah just to be in this space right now and still making music and people still appreciating it. Um, I think that's the, yeah, the highest compliment I could, I could honestly, uh, you know, I'm really kind of humbled and flattered by it. So um, I try not to overthink it, you know, I try not to overthink it because I think um, ultimately I, you know, I do music because I love doing music and love sharing my gift. So, um, you know, the fact that I can still do it now, um, it's a blessing. So that's kind of how I look at it, really. So I never try and put too much pressure in terms of like, oh, what am well, I going like to do? No, I was saying, like I told you before, when, when I first spoke with you, conversed with you, I said, I said, do you really truly know how much you are loved as far as being appreciated? Because I don't care what you do in life. Everyone wants to be appreciated for what they bring to the table. And you have so many supporters who truly love your music. They look at your music as therapy. The level of transparency and also the level of fun that you put in your music is so relatable. So when you kind of disappeared and took that extended vacation for a while, <laughs> like, life, when uh, life <laughs> it's like yeah. when is he coming back when is and you came back with full force with the album of course back in love but the video party oh. on fun fun fun, fun. fun. <laughs> no, absolutely, absolutely. I think that, yeah i mean I, you know what my approach is always like um the way i look at life there is there's so much kind of I don't know, there's so much going on in the world, really, that's quite depressing. Um, and even for my, you know, we all go through it, we all experience it, we all, you know, we see it on TV every day. So for me, if there's any way that I can, you know, just kind of like um, contribute in any way to uplift people, then I'm here for it, you know? That's kind of like what, um, what, you know, music is to me. It should be about uplifting, um, you know, making people feel good um you know of course like you know sometimes yeah you know things do happen and you want to sort of share those kind of uh, things but i'm always my my outlook is always trying to even if it's a kind of negative or 
I don't know, sad aspect of something that's happened. I always try and put a little positive spin on it, you know, so that's kind of always been my approach. Well, you've done an exceptional job, my dear. And uh, the, of course, the <laughs> video, Party On, who came up with the concept for the video? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I think it was definitely a collaborative thing because um, I was fortunate enough to sort of spend some time in the motherland because um, I'm from Zambia, so that's where my folks are. So, um, and there's just a lot of like really um, amazing creatives out there. And I kind of wanted to do, you know, just kind of wanted to film um, a video out there. I always, that was my wish, really. Um, but what I love about, um, you know, being in the motherland is the backdrop, you know, it's, it's just the sun, you know, I don't know, there's just something about the, you know, the air out there. It's just so uplifting and, you know, vibrant. So um, I kind of feel like, it, it, yeah, you kind of see that in the video, you know, I don't know. I think if I had shot that video in the UK, you would not, you know, it wouldn't have turned out that way. Uh, it would have probably looked a little bit more gray and, you know, miserable than raining, you know, <laughs> over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so it was just such a such a buzz, to, you know, to be able to kind of um, get some visuals back home and stuff. And um, in terms of the concept, it was a collaborative thing, um, you know, because obviously uh, when I presented the song to the video director, he kind of came up with his ideas. Um, and then obviously I work alongside my my sister, who's sort of a, a creative, um, Yvonne Evie Nix. So she helps me with, you know, just kind of like the visual side of how Hills is going to look. We kind of work together with the hair, you know, and the clothing, that kind of stuff. Um, so it was just like a fun experience, to be honest with you. It really was. Um, and, um, yeah, and being able to do it back home was just like a bonus for me. Because I've looked at the video several times and everything looks so natural, so, oh. organ so organic. And it's a very... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's not because you know a lot of times videos come across as being very somewhat contrived right. and it doesn't seem natural. And this seems so natural and it's so fun at the same time. Family, be sure to go to YouTube, look and check out the video, of course, party on and better yet. Why not go to Spotify, Amazon and also Apple purchase the new album, of course, Back in Love. And speaking of Back in Love. You have, you have created this wonderful album. 2024 is less than what? A month, not even a month away. A few weeks, what right? Are the, <laughs> what, what are some of the expectations that Hill Street Soul has set for herself? Wow. Okay. Well, definitely going to be another um, more music. Absolutely more music because I don't want to kind of leave it as long as I did last time now. I feel like, you know, I'm on a roll and I'm enjoying the process. So definitely more music, more visuals. Um, but I think, you know, on top of my list, it has to be, I need to, yeah, I definitely need to kind of head over to those shores and do some live shows. That's kind of what I'm yes. really looking for, you know. <laughs> I'm really working hard to try and make that happen. So, um, you know, yeah, definitely I'm going to get myself out there um, in the U.S., um, in the 2024 that is on top of my list because you have so many people out here that just truly love your music and i've had so many listeners teddy bear when is she coming back to the states oh, to perform yeah. i said well look when she gets on the show i'm going to ask her because it's long overdue <laughs> there are so many venues out here particularly here in houston that would right. love to have you uh, wow, the house okay. of the house of blues. I mean, you would you would pack it and you would you would kill it. Oh, fantastic! You would kill it. No, you really... I'm definitely. You know, I've, I'm I'm you know in talks with someone to try and get some some shows together. Um, we were you know hoping to get something done um, towards the end of this year, but it just didn't work out. So I yeah, like I said, even if I have to just bring myself over there and. I don't know, sing in the subway, whatever. I'll be there for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there for sure. <laughs> I'll you know, there. Hey, hopping on these planes, getting a camel, or getting do whatever we have to do to go up to Europe to constantly yeah. see you perform. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, you know I, it's, over, it's long overdue. I really need to get out there. So it's been, it's been a while. And obviously, you know, the album 
has been so um, well received and stuff. So I just feel like I really need to come and and share it, you know, share the, share the love and everything out there. So I'm definitely going to be there by hook or by crook. Well, I hope so. Hook, I'll be there. Well, <laughs> but whatever, we, whatever we can do collectively to make that happen, we will definitely do so. Have you ever had a dream collaboration, a person in particular that you would like to work with? Oh, my gosh. So many, to be honest with you. So many to mention, really. Um, you know, there's so many. Yeah, there's so many artists that I really admire um, that would love to collaborate with. Um, gosh, off the top of my head, I don't know. Um, who can I think of? I mean, uh, D'Angelo. I love D'Angelo. Um, I love um, I love Maxwell. You know, I love I love Layla Hathaway. I mean, there's so many people. I, I can't even sort of mention any specific names, but um, yeah, any you know, I've, I'm just such an avid kind of um, a, a admirer of a lot of these artists. So I kind of feel like you know Anthony Hamilton and what a voice he's got. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's so many people to collaborate with. I think that would be a wonderful collaboration. I should just put it out in the universe, right? Yeah. <laughs> we will definitely do that. And, and for all the many supporters out there to get the latest updates, be sure to stop by Hill's official website. That's hillstreetsoul.com. And while you're there, they have a lot of goodies on the website that you can actually purchase different albums and all kind of fantastic items that you can. So make sure you stop by. And also, you can also get the upcoming tour information. Yes, she's going to be in, in London beginning in the new year, but that's okay. One way, by, ah. one way or another. <laughs> by hook, I'll by be hook. We go, we're going to get her out here in the States. Absolutely. But I want to thank you for honoring us once again, for uh, joining us and blessing us with some new music. I'm looking forward, knock on wood, to hopefully see you in the new year here in the States, wherever you may be. The teddy bear yes. will definitely be there in the front row showing a lot of love oh. to you. A lot of love and a lot of continued success to you, my queen. And again, family, be sure to get the new album, Back in Love. It is available as we speak. Wonderful Christmas gift. Instead of going out spending $200 on a pair <laughs> of shoes, get you some music therapy from the one and only Hill Street So. Lord have mercy. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate you for having me again. I absolutely, you know, very thankful. Thank you. I have to get some of those glasses. You got them shades and some. Oh, I no. love I'm digging. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love my yeah, my glasses and my hats. That's my thing. So yeah, I love I love uh, just such style, my love. That's why I said you got <laughs> so much charisma. A lot of charisma. Thank you. <laughs> have a <laughs> wonderful have a wonderful Christmas, my love. Okay. And you too. And whilst we're talking about Christmas, I do have a Christmas single that came out last year. So hopefully you guys really can well. Please tell the listeners. Yeah. Tell the listeners, it's please. Christmas with you. And it was produced by Lorenzo Johnson. So it is available on all the platforms. So do check it out. I will be sharing it, um, you know, because obviously it's leading up to Christmas now. So I'll be sharing it next week and stuff like that. So you can go on my Facebook and you can see or hear a little snippet of it. But it's everywhere. Spotify, um, all the usual kind of like, um, you know, platforms that you can find it. Christmas with you. What are the chances of a teddy bear getting an autograph copy? of an album from you oh absolutely oh just consider it done i'll get your details and i'll get it in the post for you thank you my queen well, that's i appreciate just between it. me and you yeah actually yes. I, got problem, I, will definitely, I will definitely do that for you not a problem <laughs> thank you my queen stay safe and remain beautiful okay likewise thank you so much for having me again until the next time absolutely the one and only the captivating Hill Street Soul here on Night Tracks Radio. I want to thank everyone for tuning in and allowing the teddy bear to help you tune out all the negativity. It's all about love and positivity. I want to thank Donna McDaniel. Thank you, my queen, for joining us today. Thank you so much. Valley Smith. Hopefully I, pron hopefully I pronounced that correctly. And remember, the ones that missed the interview, there's no need to fear. We got you covered. You can see the interview in its entirety 
on our YouTube channel. That's at Night Tracks Radio Podcast. That's with two X's. That's Night Tracks Radio Podcast music on YouTube. And also be sure to subscribe and follow us here on Facebook, of course. That's at facebook.com forward slash Night Tracks Radio. And also the same handle for Instagram and also on TikTok. Yeah, we're everywhere. And also we're on iHeartRadio and Spotify. So hey, we're here. We got we we knew what you wanted, so we're here to give it to you. <laughs> well, no, no first and foremost, it has been a wonderful year. It's been a true blessing to be back on the air. We have so much more to do, so much more to accomplish. We're here to give you what you want. It's about the music. It's not about the quantity. It's about the quality. And I come from a time and era where music actually meant something. It was about the lyrics. We're able to touch people. And this is what we're here to do. We're able to, we want to be able to touch people and give the listeners as they say, giving them something they can feel. Lord have mercy. I want everyone to have a fantabulous weekend. Have a wonderful Christmas. Stay blessed. It's not about the gifts you give. Gift that you give is about the gift of love that you receive. And I have nothing but love for each and every one of you. So for me to you and on behalf of Night Tracks Radio, keep it soulful here in the zone of Nitrix Radio. God bless.